What up everyone? Hope your day is going well. I've got a quick video for you today, so let's get right into it. So we're going to be talking about proper sled deck maintenance and care, both during the winter, during the summer, everything, and just a couple of quick tips that I have for you. Now one of the things I typically see is that people won't properly clean their decks or just take general maintenance care and everything. It mostly has to do with these slide outs as well as the ramp. It's definitely one of the things that kind of gets overlooked during the sled season, both before, during, and after. But keeping everything cleaned and well maintained definitely is gonna make it last a lot longer. And first up, we're gonna be cleaning the ramp. I know it doesn't look too dirty right now, but chasing some spring snow recently, it's definitely gotten a little bit dirty. So we're just gonna give it a quick wash. And then we'll also be cleaning the slides on the inside here as well. So you really don't have to get too crazy with it, just a quick spray down, just to get any salt or snow or dirt or any, any kind of debris off the, off the ramp. So now on cleaning these surfaces, I will typically use this cleaner, it's called Totally Awesome. You can get it at pretty much any dollar store. I'll typically get one of these and then probably five or six of the refill bottles. It works pretty well, it's a degreaser and everything, so it's gonna work pretty well for this. Now I'm not sure if you can see a huge difference on camera, but this is kind of the after, and then it, what it what it looked like before. It's not a big amount of dirt and everything that you're getting off, but enough to make it slide a little easier. All right, and the final product, looking a lot better than before. And on this side. And if you're feeling really limber, you can clean these sliders that the ramp actually slides on underneath the deck here. I'll typically go through at the beginning and at the end of the season to clean those off just to, just to get any dirt and debris off of them. All right, next up we're gonna do the slide outs. Oh, look at this perfect timing. Oh, what's this, up, bud? This How right you here. doing? <laughs> oh, that was terrible. <laughs> so we're actually on day two right now. My buddy Adam stopped by yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to finish the video off. So let's finish up. All right, all good to go. All the surfaces are nice and clean. There is what looks like a little bit of assembly lube on each of them, but uh, that did come off when I cleaned them off. Uh, I don't think I'll put anything on there to uh, replace it. Uh, reason being, grease is just gonna attract more dirt and uh, it's just gonna make everything wear a little bit faster and be, it's gonna just gonna be a lot tougher to uh, pull them in and push them out and everything. So uh, I'm just gonna leave them bare like this and clean them off uh, whenever they uh, get dirty and everything. So. so let's do the other side and we'll see you in just a minute. So we're all done, good to go on the driver's side slide here, all clean and ready to go. Number three for maintenance is actually gonna be the uh, tie downs for the deck itself to the truck. Now with mine, I really didn't want to uh, drill into the bed of my deck uh, to tie it down. Uh, Marlon actually does only recommend that you bolt down uh, the decks to your truck. Uh, they do supply uh, four bolts for all four uh, corners, but that's that's the only way that they recommend uh, bolting the uh, deck down to your truck. I know a lot of people do that, but I didn't want to have holes in the bed of my truck, so uh, that's why I use the mounts that come with the Marlon deck on the side there, and then I just use turnbuckles with a locking nut uh, because at the beginning of the season I was actually having uh, an issue where the turnbuckles the, where the turnbuckles would actually come a little bit loose. So I took out the one hook from the turnbuckle, threw this uh, locking nut on there, and then tightened it up to the uh, turnbuckle piece itself. And I haven't had any issues since. I typically check mine every other week, uh, once a month or so, or if we go down a uh, really bad like logging road or something like that where it's gonna be a really rough road that's gonna uh, potentially make the deck come loose. That's really the only issue uh, that I had was that in the beginning of the season, but I haven't had anything uh, since then. And actually the last tip I have for you is going to be up on the deck itself here. Now a few times last year I actually found that uh, when we were riding the sleds up onto the deck and the metal runners on the bottom of the skis were actually catching some of the rivets 
on the uh, super glides here and it was either tearing them or something like that to where uh, they would get popped off and then when you would be loading a sled uh, it would actually pull the super glides out so i'd have to re-rivet it back in and actually right here you can see uh, what i was talking about one of the runners has actually caught this rivet right here and so that's uh, starting to tear it up so i'm going to get that one replaced it's pretty easy it's just a simple rivet but that's really all that i would check uh, on the decks themselves all right guys that's all i got for you today i know it was a short video but hopefully this did help someone with a marlon deck or just a sled deck in general I want to thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the little bell so you get notified every time I post a video. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks.